Hey YouTube, so I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup today. So I already filmed this video and then it was really, really long and I'm like, eh, you guys don't want to see it. So I'm just going to get started by showing you guys the products I need. I already put my moisturizer on my face because I thought I was going to do it in the last video. I just use the Nivea Soft and apply it everywhere, my neck and around my noses, especially where I got really dry. I like this because it's for dry or oily skin or a combination. I kind of have combination right now because I get really shiny in my T-zone. And then right here it's like matte. Well, not matte, but you know. So, if you don't wear foundation, you can skip the foundation part. But I do put concealer on before my foundation, just under my eyes. So if you like watch concealer, do the concealer, skip the foundation, and then go to the rest. But if you wear foundation, it's good. So, my foundation is darker because we're doing this play at school. If you guys watch Degrassi, it's like the one Eli put on, but it's going to be on camera too in front of the whole school. So, this is my foundation. It is Fit Me 220 by Maybelline. It's a little darker. I like it. It counteracts my redness and it really matches me once you blend it out because I have really like dark arms. But my camera like washes out all my color. I don't get it. Okay, then you're going to need a concealer of choice. I sometimes use two. Today I'm not. Mine is my Max Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. Um, it's really creamy. I got. I just got a new one, like not that long ago, so I haven't made that much of it. And you can tell I've kind of spoiled my finger in it. You can use a brush. I choose not to. Um, you're gonna need a eyesh gold eyeshadow. So I'm actually not using this eyeshadow. I'm gonna show you what eyeshadows you kind of have a choice of to create this look. Or you can do, I'm not saying you have to use this, but it's better. So this is just my um, quad compact by e.l.f. And the color you can use on the lid, which is sometimes, I use this a lot, is called Golden Glow. It's really pretty. I'll swatch it for you. Um, it's right there. You can't really see it. It's such a sheer color. I don't know if you guys can see it. Or I love them. Okay, I'm just going to use that because that's the only one I use. But I'm using my Wet n Wild I'm Getting Sunburned Trio. The brow one color is purple, which I think is amazing because it's sunburned, summer, sunburn. It gives you a splash of color. If you're using like a really like neutral colors and then a splash of color, I'm like, oh, amazing. I had to pick this up. And this makes blue, green, and hazel eyes pop. It's not so much hazel and not so much green, but blue, or not so much hazel, not so much brown. Somewhat hazel, not brown, because you have the brown in this. You want to use pretty much opposite colors. So green and blue is really good with the gold and brown. And then the purple makes all the eyes pop. You can use the purple as a lid or highlight, whatever. And it's purple because it's not summer. Then you're going to need a blush. I use a cream blush by Love and Beauty. It's called Fuchsia Poodle. It's a really hot pink. Almost has purple. Not purple. What am I saying? It has, um, it's like a satin. It's a cream blush, so it's not going to be completely matte. But once you put it on, it's pretty matte. Um, just watch it for you. It's kind of hard to see. It's really f like a light flush. It's not, I don't even know why they call it fuchsia. It's right there. It's not fuchsia. But I have two mascaras of choice. Um, this is the Love and Beauty Very Black Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. And then the CoverGirl Lash Plus Volume in Very Black. You're going to need two lip products. You're going to need a lipstick. I like liquid lipsticks. This is the Elf Luscious Liquid Lipstick in, um, what? I'm dropping everything. Pink Lemonade. And then the Elf Conditioning Lip Balm in Strawberries and Cream. Because this kind of is drying. Um, we're going to need a powder. I'm using my Dream Matte Powder in Sand. You're going to need a complexion brush, or a complexion brush, a powder brush. I use my Elf Complexion Brush. You're going to need a sponge. I need a lot of stuff, but it's really not that much. I'm just kind of introducing it. I don't have my sponge with me. Uh oh. There it is. Found it. You're going to need a sponge to apply. I've actually only used this two times. Um, so I just I should use this two more times and then I'm going to go to get a new one. Um, and yeah. So let's get started. So when I wake up in the morning, because I do some morning, I put my eye drops in so my eyes aren't bloodshot red. My makeup, like, doesn't. Anyway, yeah. So you're going to want to. I start off with my face first. I always have. I always pretty much will. So, um, I start off with my concealer under my eyes. So I just take my Studio Finish Concealer, put a little on my finger. It looks white, but it's really like yellow cream. And just dab it right here. And then right under and just dab a little bit. You don't even need that much. Like, since it's after school, and I have like, like a red line. Whenever I get sunburned, it doesn't go away. It stays a red line. Um, I look really good on camera right now, like. I got a camera and like you can see myself now. 
Well, I'm actually using my mom's. That's why I got a new camera. Wink, wink. Um, and then I have like a sunburn like right here, like a line, and it doesn't show up on camera, which I like, but I don't like. So that's just your under eye concealer. I didn't use that much, so I just take this one. It doesn't have a pump, so it's really messy, as you can tell. Messy. That's one thing I don't like about this. Like the matte Revit plus, um, and I don't know what color. I don't know what color I use anymore. I haven't used that in a while. It has like it's like a squeezy one, so you're good. So it's not really like a mess. But I just tip it up and then tip it back, and you really that's probably too much. Um, so I have a swatch in the back of my hand. I kind of kept it away from the swatch. So just a little bit, and then take your sponge. I kind of like ripped this one up on accident, so just take it. And I always dab it at the places where I need the most first. Uh, I have a little scarring on like my cheek-ish area, my cheekish. It's a word. And then get it on your cheeks. Bam, bam, bam. Right in your forehead. Um, I dab it first because. Then get a little under your eyes, not too much, because this is going to cover the light concealer. If your concealer is your perfect match, none of the matte concealers are on, except for the Studio uh, Studio Sculpt is, like, the perfect one, but it's okay. Um, then I just start, like, kind of blending it out. It really blends out really nicely and really matches your skin. It doesn't really, um, also, if you don't like this one and you want, like, almost a perfect match, um, for concealer and foundation, the All My Smart shade, all of, like the All My Smart shade brand. Uh, I put a little too much on this cheek, but so just take it and like, rub it off. Cause you can tend to look a little oily with this, but don't worry, we'll fix that. So then, if it's um, the All My Smart shade collection is amazing. So make sure you get like your eyelids and everything, so all your face is one color. And then if you're like me and it's a little too dark, just take a little extra. I just like scoop some out. Um, take a little bit. Turn, flip. That wasn't any at all. Oops. And then dab it, dab it, dab it. And then it blends. Like definitely get this little on like your earlobes just so it just blends a little easier. I don't know how it would blend easier. It would just look more natural so this is pretty dark for me um this is actually what matches my chest and then i'll be doing a picture day after a picture day look right after not a look um because this is what i'll wear on picture day too i might just intense the crease color if i even wear a crease so that's good and then for concealer around your face i use my um go fit me and I like to save my MAC one in case it's like something. Whoa, there's like a string. Okay. Just in case you need a little extra coverage. Or video, I just dab a little bit under my eyes just so I can have them almost the same color. I know this seems like a lot. I don't wear this every day. Um, I'm especially wearing this now. Um, I know you're not supposed to wear a lot of like foundation. It's totally a per personal preference when you're in middle school or high school. Um, I didn't wear this much when I was in middle school, but I'm in high school now. So, um, I do. So then just take your fingers. I know it's not the most sanitary. You can wipe off the baby wipe. It's okay. Um, and just lightly, I'm not tugging too hard, but I'm tugging enough to blend it out. And then on your forehead, and, like places where you want it to look really natural or like not so shiny. And if you have really, really bad, like colored cheeks, I don't. I have like red ones, so I like using a pink blush. Um, use a powder brush, blush. But I like using um, a cream blush. So I just take a little on my fingers. It almost looks orange on camera, but it's not. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Smile and dab. Right on the apples and then back. Um, their cheeks look really, really like dewy right now. If you like the dewy effect, don't use a matte powder. You can use like Max Studio. Max, um. Studio Fix Powder, Max, Vanilla Sunset Natural, or whatever. So I just took my fingers. I'm gonna check on my mirror right here, like you guys can see. Just because I don't want, I, I don't want to look like a clown in real life, because I'm gonna wear this out. So I'm just kind of blending it down, back, smiling, doing it. It's really natural in real life. You don't want to put it too close to your nose like I did. So I just take my finger. It comes off pretty easy, like if you rub it. Okay. So then for powder eyes are really simple because I only use one color I don't really wear face colors I'm gonna take my powder it's really nice spill it on my brush because if I applied it with 
my um if I apply it with the powder puff that comes with it would be too light on my skin and I wouldn't want that because um, like if you're taking school pictures or something that will be in my school pictures video so I'm not even going to tell you it now so apply it where you apply foundation just to definitely set it and if you get really oily like if I were cream blush I definitely want to set that extra and then when I get like my tees on um, I focus more on face for school okay for eyes I just use my elf eyelid primer in sh new this is actually the new color this one's actually in sheer so you can use the concealer as your primer I honestly like primers my eyelids don't crease my eyelids my eyeshadow so for eyeshadow I'm using I'm getting sunburned trio like I said and I'm using that gold bot of uh, gold top color now it's the top and I need to there it is I'm taking just a cover girl flat shader brush. It's pretty large. I like it because you can get it done quicker. I've made quite an indent in the gold color and pretty much only the gold color. And I really like how it looks. It's not showing up too much on camera. It's not that like bright of a gold. I don't like focusing on the eyes. I don't really like focusing on the face really. I like more your personality. But if I had to choose one beauty spot to focus on, it would this eye looks like I have brown on it but I don't it's just shadow oh my gosh it's like really bad shadow like not like bad like this shadow but like I just look like I have face color okay I'm just gonna use um my finger for this side because it looks like I have like um a crease color on and I don't I have no crease color whatsoever so I'm just gonna like I felt like a little bit there but it's okay um, I don't have a crease color I'll add a little more to this one just to look like I have a crease color, but I really don't. And if I do, might be a little brown on the brush. Blend it out because it's really I don't like wearing crease colors. And you guys know that. And you're not supposed to use your fingers, but it's okay. My lips, I use the. You guys already know, so I'm not even gonna introduce it. It's really drying. Well, not too drying. It's really like a nice baby pink um, lipstick. I like liquid lipsticks. They seem to, they tend to stay on longer. Um, yeah. So for mascara, I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna use my. Well, I mean, you guys know I don't curl my lashes because I have really long curled lashes. I'm gonna use the long bristled side for length. I don't put it on the inner part because I don't want long inner lashes. I did already have my some mascara on for school. Um. Yeah, so then while that dry calm doesn't dry, you don't want to dry. Take it and just kinda almost dab but also drag it a little bit. And your lips will be so conditioned, you're like, yeah. You can use brushes for all your eyeshadow. I don't like to spend time on my eyes. I mean yeah, it's an important concept. Um, this camera doesn't give the full effect of your like lashes and like stuff so it really like bugs me like this whole side of my face my right side but on you guys looks like my right uh, my left side but it looks like my right in the video um it looks like I have like a black eye and everything I promise like my own's a mess so I don't want to show you guys but I don't, I promise. I'm gonna have a little bit of brown, but I have a little bit of brown on the side too. So, that's my makeup throw. Um, it's not that good. I was kind of in a hurry because I'm getting ready to go meet Tanner, my bestest guy friend. And if you need a little more coverage, whatever's left on your spine, you can just kind of dab there. And take your hair. I hate wearing like makeup with my hair up. I won't wear foundation when my hair is up. I just think it looks too well up. I like my hair down. My hair's kind of crazy because I had it up. But yeah. So, that is my look. I really like it. So, I don't wear liner. Um, this really makes blue eyes look really nice. No, I do not wear contacts. Like, watch. I have really dirty hands. So I can't stand not that dirty. I don't have contacts or anything. Um, I do wear contacts, but they're clear. But I'm not having any right now. It really makes your eyes really nice in, in any color. Even like just the way your cheeks are and your face. 